Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I'll be talking about Jonathan Gannon. Got exposed, man. He got exposed, and um, yeah, let's get into it, man. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. I, I see the comments. I see you guys talking. I think you guys are pretty mad that I said it's blame to go all around. I think you guys taking that wrong as a reporter, as a YouTuber or whatever I do or whatever you guys claim me to do. I have to be fair all around the board. But now who who like, duh, I think we know this. Who deserves majority of the blame? It's Jonathan Gannon. And it came down to what I didn't want it to come down to. And what I mean by that. I did not want it to be an Andy Reid versus Jonathan Gannon. 10 times out of 10, Andy Reid is going to win that matchup. And um, that's what happened, man. Our defense looked confused. Um, we left guys wide open. Uh, the zone got picked apart. You know, it was claims made by that 40, 40 Winers team. Is that basically, if that defensive line don't get there, you know, the back end could get exposed. Now, I don't think it's like a James Bradbury, a Slay, a C.J. Garner-Johnson, or even a Marcus Epps, even though he got burnt by Kelsey, are trash. I just think the scheme is because there's so many holes. Like, they were sitting in them, and then Patrick Mahomes had extend the play for an extra second or two. Then you got a guy running wide open because the, the zone was trash. The zone was trash, man. And everything I had questions about coming into the season got exposed during the Super Bowl. I'm like, is Miles Sanders really the guy? All season, proving me wrong. Tail end of the season, I start saying, well, I got questions after that Bears game. Goes into the Super Bowl, fumbles. Damn, they fumbled a uh, what drop. You know, we got kind of lucky with that. Jonathan Gannon. I'm like, man, I got questions with Jonathan Gannon, man. I, I don't know. When you get Hassan Reddit this and that, you know, the pressure get there and we can win games. But if the pressure's not there, that scheme will be exposed. Now, I trust Howie Roseman because he did it last year. He evaluates that game. He has to come out that game saying, A, we're not resigning Miles Sanders, and B, you know how the Cowboys, you know, they thought Kellen Moore was going to be the head coach of the Panthers. They tried to let him go gracefully, but at some point you got to cut him loose. I, I think that's the same thing with Jonathan Gannon. Uh, I took, what, two years of this, man. I, I can't take another year of this. Of this scheme, because we this next coming into next year, we play first place teams, so we're going to see the 49ers again. More than likely, they're going to be healthy. We're going to see possibly the Chiefs again. Um, you know, we play the first place schedule. We play the first place schedule, and we're going to see some tough teams with some good quarterbacks. And we said this last year when Jonathan Gannon played good quarterbacks. He showed him too much respect, and he gets exposed. You know, we let him go. The defense will be the defense will be all right. The offense is intact, but that defense, that scheme, you you allow this team to outrush you. Um, what you allow? 112 rushing yards in the second half, 24 points, damn near no incompletions. And look at every single game we lost. Look at every single game we lost, including what missed you. You go back to the Washington game. What they do, they ran the ball effectively, meaning getting first downs, kept the chains moving. Um, offense shot themselves in the foot a little bit with Quez Watkins dropping. Uh, well, fumbling against Washington, but dropping a, a, in the Super Bowl, which is not supposed to happen. Just shot themselves in the foot a bit, and then the defense just kind of get the offense off the field. And Washington cashed in when they needed to cash in. The defense were, was bad that game. You look at um, the Saints. 
Andy Dalton, even though we did our thing that second half, but Andy Dalton was almost perfect the first half. Picking apart that zone. You just give your quarterback a little bit of time. That zone will be picked apart. It's the second game. And then when you look at the Cowboys game, what happened? The zone got picked apart. You know why the zone got picked apart? Because the pressure wasn't getting to that Prescott as it was supposed to. And then the Super Bowl. What happened? That zone got picked apart. And you know why? That pressure could not get there. He relied on that pressure too much, man. He got out schemed, outsmarted. And um, like I said in my previous video, I mean, miss Shane Stanton a lot. A lot. And Jonathan Gannon, hopefully he get that job in Arizona. He go out gracefully. If not, Howie Roseman, you know what you got to do, man. You know what you got to do, man. You got to get fired. He got to get fired, man. He's not a coordinator in this league. It's not, man. If he, if he don't get fired, we're going to see a lot of games like how we played against the Chiefs. A lot of games. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel, man? I think Jonathan Gannon got exposed. He should be fired. He got to go. Whatever you want to say, man. This is Al Cabana Analyst. Ghost.